everyone, Jessica here. Today I have a quick tutorial for you all about fuses. So what is a fuse and what does it do? A fuse protects the electrical circuits and ultimately the electrical components in your vehicle. Think of it this way. The electrical parts in your car, like your radio or your power windows, need energy, and they draw that energy from a power source like your battery or your alternator. And if there's too much energy going to that particular part, it can damage the part. So that's why fuses are important. The fuse will break the current should it exceed an unsafe amount. And you'd much rather have a broken fuse than a broken part in your car. So if an electrical component isn't working in your car, it could be that part or it may just be a fuse. Checking a fuse is super simple and I'm going to show you how. Most cars have at least two fuse boxes. My car actually has three. I have two under the hood that controls things like the cooling fans and the engine control unit. And then I have one inside of the vehicle that controls things like the radio, the sunroof, the power windows, headlights, turn signals, etc., etc. You'll want to check your owner's manual or do a search online to see where your fuse boxes are located. Simply open up the panel and you'll see all of the colorful fuses. You'll also see a map that tells you which fuse corresponds to which component in the car. You'll want to check your owner's manual for clarification on this map, but more or less, it gives you a good sense of which fuse goes with which part. Now, you'll also see that there are a bunch of different sizes and numbers. What do these mean? Well, first of all, what we're looking at here is called a blade fuse. These are found in most cars. They come in different sizes, micro, mini, regular, maxi, and all sorts of colors. As you'll see here, there are two connectors and a circuit in the middle that connects the two. The number you'll see printed on the fuse is its rating, that is the max current it can conduct measured in amps. So you'll see numbers like 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, etc. It's important to replace the blown fuse with a fuse of the same rating. You could get an assorted box of fuses like this for less than $4 at your local auto shop. So how do you check a fuse? Well, let me show you. Say your power lock system isn't working. Taking a look at the map, the fuse that corresponds with the lock system is located in slot number 38. With the larger fuses, you can pull them out with your fingers, but with the smaller ones, there should be a set of plastic tongs that you can use to pull them out. You can also use pliers or tweezers. So remove the fuse and take a look at the circuit between the two connectors. Hold the fuse up to the light, and you may see a break in the wire. That will tell you that the fuse is blown. Sometimes though, you can't tell just by looking at it. So you can place another fuse of the same rating in the slot and test it that way. One other way to test a fuse is to use a test light. This test light cost me just about $6. The test light will tell you if a fuse is still good by illuminating. So first, you wanna make sure your car is running. Connect the clamp to a ground source. I'll use a negative battery terminal, but pretty much any metal surface on the vehicle will work. Test to make sure the light works by touching it to the positive terminal. Now take the test light and touch the exposed ends of the fuses. Both ends should make the light illuminate. If not, then you have a bad fuse. And that's it. Checking your fuses is so simple and can help you fix an electrical issue in your car. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, do me a favor and hit that like button. As always, if you have any suggestions for fixes, please leave them in the comments below, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!